friends, welcome on the YouTube channel of Baiju's Exam Prep. Now, friends, at Baiju's Exam Prep, we want all our students to succeed to score good in all the examinations that you all are preparing for. Now, to ensure, to make sure that all of you will score good and uh, save a lot of efforts and time in making your strategies, we are making these videos and we are conducting all these sessions so that you just watch these sessions and prepare your strategy as per uh, uh, the advice, as per the suggestions that are given in these videos. Now, to continue these efforts, we have made these videos for all of you to uh, make sure that uh, you are not wasting time in these last one week of uh, testnet preparation. So here I am once again in front of you with the last minute tips for testnet examination, especially for mathematics and logical reasoning section. So let us look at uh, what all things we need to take care. But before that, I'll quickly tell you what are we expecting in this paper? What are uh, the number of questions? What are the what is the pattern of this examination? Let us quickly throw some light on that. Now, talking about this examination testnet, the total number of questions are 100. And for this, you will be given 100 minutes. So on an average, we can say that we have uh, around one minute for every question on an average. But if I talk about the sections like quant and verbal ability, then you can afford to spend more than one minute on an average on every question because there will be 40 questions of general awareness, which will take uh, not more than 20 seconds per question. And you can finish this entire section of 40 questions in less than 15 minutes, right? Now the marking scheme here is plus one for every correct answer. And there is no negative marking. I believe this is one breather for all of you. Now moving ahead and uh, looking at the breakup of uh, these sections, verbal section, the English section will have 30 questions. Quant, DI and LR will be having, uh, will be there in a single section of uh, 30 questions. Now last year we saw very less number of questions from logical reasoning. There were around three or four questions only, but anything can happen in uh, the upcoming examination. So you must be fully prepared with logical reasoning and data interpretation with the quantitative aptitude. Now the third section is general awareness section having 40 questions. One very good thing about this examination is we don't have any sectional time limits. Right. So there are no sectional time limits, but yes, there is sectional cutoff only for general awareness section. So understanding what will be the cutoff. So if you belong to general category, EWS category, Kashmiri migrant or armed forces, then you need to score a minimum of 14 marks in our in the section having 40 questions. Now, if you belong to OBC or PWD category, then you need to score 12 marks. And there is no sectional cutoff for the students belonging to SC or ST category, right? So make sure that you, uh, you cover up, uh, you clear up the sectional cutoff for general awareness section. Vis-a-vis -vis maximize your score in the other two sections that is verbal and quantitative aptitude, DI and logical reasoning. Right now, Vikrant sir has already told you like uh, there is a video made by Vikrant sir in which he has discussed uh, some of the tips for uh, the verbal section. And now I'm going to discuss some of the tips for quant logical reasoning and data interpretation, how to do good in these sections. Now, tip number one for quant section is <laughs> in the upcoming days that you have revise all the concepts and the formulas. Now we keep uh, forgetting these formulas. We keep forgetting these concepts. Now in test, you will realize that most of the questions from quant are direct questions, are formula based questions. So if you don't have these formulas on your tips, then it will take you more time to recall these formulas or maybe derive these formulas. And that will not be a very effective thing as far as clearing the cutoff of uh, testnet examination is concerned. So make sure that all these concepts and the formulas are on your tips. Okay. Also, don't go into the depth of all these things. 
in the last uh, uh, whatever number of days you are left with totally depends on uh, which day uh, you are watching this video so whatever time you have just brush up all the formulas and concepts i'm hopeful that all of you must be maintaining a formula copy for quant so make sure that every second or every third day you are revising these formulas that was tip number one now tip number two for all of you is work on your weak areas first of all weak areas for the next five days so let's say if you totally have uh, uh, more than seven or eight days left for you you are watching the video as soon as it is uploaded on the youtube so make sure that you work on your weak areas for the next five days obviously you cannot afford to miss any question in testnet examination uh, because of the nature of these questions most of these questions will belong to easy to moderate level of difficulty right so if any easy question comes up from your weak area right then you should be able to at least attempt that question very easy question you can attempt and leaving behind some of the difficult ones so just brush up just revise some of the important formulas which lies in your weak areas now for the last four days you must work on your strengths so let's say if arithmetic is your strength then last three or four days you must devote in practicing some basic level questions from arithmetic so whatever your strength is try to work on your strengths in the last three or four days of your revision just before the examination now moving forward to tip number three now try to solve the questions as they come in the examination so now I'm talking about the D-Day, the day of the examination. Once you start solving the questions of quantitative aptitude, DI or logical reasoning section, try to solve the questions as they come in front of you. <clears throat> Don't do uh, things like searching for the questions of a particular topic or a particular area in the entire examination. That will definitely waste your time. So let's say if your uh, area of strength is arithmetic, and you are wasting your time in searching for the questions of arithmetic then it will be very time consuming it will waste your efforts as well so that is not at all suggestible so what you can do is you can try the questions try to solve all the questions as they come in the examination i'll also give you a wonderful tip for this particular thing now what you can do is divide the questions in three categories right now what are these categories Category number one, the questions which belongs to your strength and they are less time consuming, they are short. All right. So this first category of questions will be the type of questions which you will solve immediately. Right. So we have divided the questions in three categories. So first of all, I'll tell you what are these, these three categories and then I'll discuss in detail how to manage solving the questions which are lying in each of these categories so first category of questions is the type of questions which you want to solve immediately i tell you how to select those questions the second category of questions are those questions which you want to solve but not right now because they might consume more time and you want to come to these questions later on the third category of questions is you don't know anything about these questions and you will never come back to these questions right now first of all let us focus on the first category of questions now how to select these questions now these questions can be from your strength areas these questions can be the questions which are very short in length can be read in uh, in less than 10 seconds these questions are one liners and you can take a quick decision as far as these type of questions is concerned right so if a question belongs to your strength area and is a short question as well then you must attempt that question immediately the second category of questions the questions which are lengthy and they may lie in your strength areas so basically you want to do these questions but since these questions are lengthy you don't want to waste your time and you may come back to these questions later on if the time will permit so you can leave these questions for the time being right now the third category of questions 
So let us talk about the third category of questions in this tip number four. So if you have no idea about this third category of questions, how to solve these questions, the question is very lengthy. You don't want to get into this. The question belongs from your weakest area. And again, it is lengthy. So you can uh, go in two different directions with these questions. Now, obviously, you will have to mark any answer immediately in these type of questions. So you cannot leave these questions. So during the examination, let's say you encounter first question, which was very easy. You have attempted that question after solving. Second question, again, it was easy. You have attempted that question. Third question, it was moderate and you decided to come back to this question. So you have left that question unattempted. The fourth question, let's say, is a very difficult one. And you decided never to come back to this question. So now you cannot leave this question unattempted because there is no negative marking in this examination. Right. So what you must do is you must mark any option as an answer immediately. Now, how to mark an answer? One way is take a calculative guess. So what you can do is uh, uh, just understand the range of the answer and mark uh, a calculative uh, guess or you can eliminate two or three options. So let's say out of four options, you are able to eliminate two. Then the probability that the question will be correct will be increased to 50% against the probability of 25%. All right. So <coughs> If you are able to eliminate either one option or two options, then it is very good and then mark an answer as a guess. Secondly, if you cannot take a calculative guess, then just mark any random option as an answer. In this case, try to mark the same option. Let's say option B for all the questions of this type. All right. So please do take care of all these things at the time of the examination. Try to watch this video that I have made for you that we are making for you uh, again and again till the examination. So let's say if today you have watched this session, you can watch this session once again after two or three days and just one day before the examination as well so that you keep all these things in your mind. I may help you in reminding all the strategies, all the tips that you want to apply at the time of the examination. So friends, all the very best for the examination. You can follow us on the social media using these social media platforms. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel of Baiju's Exam Prep and press the bell icons to make sure that you will not miss any of the upcoming sessions that we are conducting for all of you. All the very best for this examination. We'll see you once again with many such sessions like this. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.